was just at school still. Um, I like to go out with my friends. I was definitely going to uni. It was going to be really fun, I think. I was at school a normal day. There's a play and I'm supposed to be saying my line. I just couldn't speak at all, just nothing. My teacher said, you know, something's not right, obviously. After that, I, I couldn't remember anything. They were able to confirm it was a stroke. She couldn't speak at all. Um, she was totally paralysed on the right-hand side. The first few days she wasn't even able to drink. She certainly couldn't eat anything. It was just the worst day of my life. Quite honestly, the worst day of my life. <laughs> I couldn't speak. I couldn't listen. My aphasia was so bad that people are chatting to me and I couldn't understand what anything that was hard because everything was gone but I was still Sarah yeah. when Sarah came home it was just me and Sarah and all her friends had gone to university I was kind of isolated and lonely really my parents and me set up a group Sarah thought of the idea of having the group and it's called Sarah's Stroke and Communication Group. For the first couple of months, it was just me and Sarah and the kettle and the plate of biscuits and nobody came. Then after a while, some of the local speech therapists referred people. So we gradually grew into quite a nice group. It's a really wonderful thing to see her working with them and having some fun. We just talk about anything. If it's difficult to speak, then we can write and we can do something that's easier. and. You feel happier because you're not alone. Strokes are hard and I just want to help. Sarah also goes into schools. She's visited people in their homes or in hospital. She's been to various companies that are supporters of the Stroke Association, standing up and speaking in front of people. She's spoken in Parliament and for someone with aphasia that's an incredible achievement I think. Stroke has given her some real challenges in life and she hasn't let any of those limit what she's done. Sarah also got involved in Star for Stroke, which is a really good initiative by Nick Eid. He has put on a number of events to try and raise awareness of stroke. And Sarah cares about every other person that has a stroke. I see it um, bring tears to her eyes when she hears about other people. She really feels for other people and she loves to raise awareness of stroke and aphasia. And instead of thinking about before my stroke, you need to think about now. My life's changed massive amount. My path is different, but I actually think I'm happier now than I used to be. She won't ever sit back and feel sorry for herself and that desire to help others in life but it's just come out even stronger now. There's something about Sarah, something special about her.